concept is of course uh, a UA concept, you know, the, myself and, and a postdoc and a student. And then, uh, uh, and then we've got a lot more. We've got these, these, these slide, these, these uh, blocks you see here. Each one of these is 14,000 pounds. And so what we do is um, we can stack these and then they go down into the floor and basically we, we post-tension this system so that the system gets post-tension with, with quite a bit of load and then uh, we can stack them up as high as we need and then we connect an actuator to here and then we can push like this on you know in anything we want whether it's a wall or a, a frame or whatever we're going to test and, and the idea is that's that's basically simulating an earthquake load uh, because the, the earthquake when it shake the ground shakes back and forth that's what does the damage we called them the legos uh, for, for <laughs> when they were being built but of course they weigh a little bit more than than plastic so <laughs> just a touch <laughs> You know, sometimes a test can be set up in a, a day or two, uh, and then sometimes it can take a month or two uh, if it's a very, very complex test. Um, most of the time, we don't just do one shake. A lot of times what we'll do is we'll, we'll start with some smaller shakes, get a, a feel for it, provided the structure is not going to be damaged. Um, you know, there's times when if we're testing just a couple of walls, we may, we may test a series of walls. We might do that every few days and just, you know, bring them, bring them through. Uh, put them on, test them, but, but the, the catch on a shake table is you have to have the, set the proper seismic mass on it, uh, you know, the weight, uh, so if you're testing the bottom story of a three-story building, you have to actually put that much weight on it, and uh, of course buildings weigh, you know, tens of thousands of pounds, and so, um, so that's, that's why we have these, you know, twin 15-ton cranes is to be able to lift this, this stuff on, so. Wow. This, when we start shaking, uh, when we start, sorry, when we start shaking there, depending on what's happening here, will actually change the motion of the shake table to, to basically model what's called soil structure interaction. Okay. Uh, and that's, that's, that particular test has never been done. Right. Uh, and so, so we're hoping to do that for the first time here. And just, just huge, huge system. I mean, probably clearly the, by far the biggest in the, in the southeast. And, and uh, you know, probably, uh, I'd say there's probably only about four or five, probably five labs with this kind of capability in the entire U.S., maybe, maybe six. This is where you come if there's a tornado, definitely. Uh, you can see the thickness up there, you'll, you'll get a feel for it. So this is, uh, this is the basement, so this, the rods will come down into here, and, uh, and then basically, literally, there's a steel plate, a, a big nut goes on them. Uh, they're one, one and three quarter inch rods, and a big, big nut goes on them, uh, and then they get pulled up, and then a post-tensioning device goes up on the top of those stack blocks, and yeah. basically pulls it with like 100,000 pounds, and so it just goes like that, and all the blocks are cranked together. Uh, against this. So each of these holes up there you can actually pull on with 200,000 pounds of uplift. So you can imagine a tornado right. you know, doesn't stand a chance, it can't exert 200,000 pounds of uplift every every five square feet. There's right. no way. So um, so this is, uh, to be quite honest, this is probably the safest place in the, in the, at the university. Uh, this one's about, a, uh, this particular one's about 140,000 pounds of force, but what, what makes it so um, Unique is, is the speed at which it moves. Um, the, these move at about 60 inches a second. So, um, you know, if you think of, you know, that's like somebody, uh, you know, almost somebody jogging. Really, it's moving, but but it's actually moving 140,000 pounds at that speed. Earthquake engineering kind of lends itself to discovery very well, uh, and so a lot of the discoveries we we make in earthquake engineering uh, kind of spread throughout the profession of, of structural engineering and even just civil engineering. You know a lot more than just earthquake engineering, right? You know, and, and uh, there's a few uh, methods or techniques that have been invented that you know changed you know changed engineering for good, and they were invented by earthquake engineers uh, back in the 50s and the 60s. So it's it's just a whole uh, you know kind of a I guess a ripe field I guess you could say right now.